In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying the expression 3a cubed b times 10a to the 4th b cubed all over 2a to the 4th b squared. As we're simplifying using our exponent properties, to decide what step to do first, we keep in mind order of operations as a guide. While there are several correct ways to arrive at the answer, order of operations can help us start in the right place and end in the right place. Order of operations asks us to do parentheses first. And while there are no obvious parentheses on this problem, we remember whenever we see a fraction, there's an invisible set of parentheses around the numerator and denominator, suggesting we should simplify completely the numerator and denominator first before we worry about the fraction. In the numerator, we can multiply the 3 times 10 to get 30. When we get to the a's, since we have two bases multiplied together, the product rule tells us to add the exponents, giving us a to the 4 plus 3, or a to the 7th. Similarly with the b's, b to the 1st, because if there's no exponent written, we assume there's a 1, plus b cubed, or times b cubed, adding the exponents 1 plus 3, gives us 4. In the denominator, there's no simplifying available, so we have 2a to the 4th b squared. Now that we're done with the parentheses, we would normally look for any power rules or exponents we could simplify. But we have no exponents outside of parentheses in this problem, so we'll move on to multiplying and dividing. We can reduce the 30 over 2 to just 15. For the a's, the quotient rule of exponents tells us to subtract the exponents. We have 7 a's, with 4 of them dividing out, gives us 7 minus 4, or a to the 3rd left over. Similarly, with the b's, b to the 4th over b squared leaves us with b squared as we subtract the exponents 4 minus 2 to get 2. Our final answer is 15a cubed b squared. We know we are done because each variable appears only once in our final solution. We got our final solution by keeping in mind order of operations to guide us through which exponent properties to use in which order.